Is that Chris? Here we go again, bro. Another form and another example of old generation and new generation not understanding each other and rather be with each other. They come to an agreement and understand that different times it different rhymes. It's gonna be different, but hey, at the end of the day, it's all the same thing. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Atlanta rapper Killer Mike on the roster and Kassanet on the roster. Now, it seems like Killer Mike has finally responded to Kassanet after Kassanet pretty much went on the stream and I don't want to say dissed him, but kind of called him out after he won three Grammys and like a lot of people weren't feeling it. He kind of invited Kyle out to figure out who he was and Joe Budden has some things to say about it and this whole situation just got messy. Now, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, bro, stop playing. Y'all niggas know my routine. Hit that like button, bruh, and smash that bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video, bruh, and I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, I'm going to y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, bruh. Hmm? Y'all got me? All right, bet, bruh. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got Atlanta rapper Killer Mike on the roster, and he has some things to say to Kassanet. Now, if y'all don't know, uh, a couple days ago, whatever, the Grammys came on. Y'all know I do not watch no BT Grammys, none of all that stuff. Got propaganda, got agendas, and it's never really based off talent, and they be pushing weird agendas on us. So I don't really never keep up with it, because they always let the people that are shouldn't win, win. Now, if y'all don't know, Killer Mike is a rapper from Atlanta. Um, I'm not a fan of his music. I know him outside of what he do for um, his community. And he pretty much won three awards. You know what I'm saying? I like, think best rap album, best rap song, and like something else. Now, what made everybody kind of question and get kind of furious with him winning is he won the best rap album and he won over Drake and 21 Savage, her losses, which is a great tape to me. Heroes and Villains by Metro Boomin. And a lot of fanboys got mad about some tape called Utopia by Travis Scott, which I ain't listened to, and Nas. Now, one of the main people that was real vocal and that ended up going viral, but having this opinion, as he should, of top streamer, Kassanet, you feel me? He kind of reacted to Brad winning, and he kind of dogged him out a little bit, but he's trying to show respect at the same time. I'm the fuck down. I don't know who this is, okay? Egg brother, God bless you. Congratulations. I don't know who you are. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. Who who decided this motherfucker? Who the f decided this motherfucker? Her loss? Utopia! Now, John C, Kassanet, doing what he doing, being a Twitch streamer, uh, entertaining his subscribers, uh, entertaining his supporters, whatever kids may be, and the state his opinion, saying that who the F voted for Killer Mike and said how did he win up Utopia, because a lot of people felt like Utopia should have won, whatever kids may be. And like I said, I didn't listen to Killer Mike on tape. I'm not going to say it's bad because I didn't listen to him. And I know him, like I said, from outside and other stuff he do around the community outside of music. So I'm not going to call him trash I didn't listen to it. And a lot of people feel like Utopia should have won, which I ain't listen to that neither. I'm not a crazy Travis Scott fan. You feel me? Now, me personally, I like her loss, but I can't say that it's better than Killer Mike or whatever because I ain't listen to Killer Mike. Now, one of the people that instantly had something to say to Kassanet and went on his old nigga hang rant was Joe Budden. And Joe Budden spoke on it and he kind of snapped on Kassanet. All that fucking Travis, crying. They, they robbed me 10 times or something he said. Well, he said listen to this guy. Calm the fuck down. Everybody calm the fuck down. This is a young nigga. I don't niggas. know who this is, okay? Egg brother, God bless you. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know who yeah. you are. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. <laughs> who, who decided this motherfucker? <laughs> who the f decided this motherfucker? Her loss? Utopia? Yes. Yeah, neither of those are better than. Yes. Michael. Over Utopia. Shut your booming! Shut your ass up, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all little screaming niggas don't always run shit. Shut the fuck up. That, that's the Some people don't give a fuck about your numbers. Y yeah, yeah, we don't care about none of that little streamy, mosh pit, uh, marked card, whatever you niggas is doing over there. And let's keep it a buck. The Parks, you said it. 
You told me. Now, as y'all see, he had no opinion, and it made sense what he was saying. But what threw me off when he was like, you young F for the Fs, and calling them all that. When that's reality, Kasanak got an opinion like everybody else do, bro. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people felt like that. And by God, like, you can have freedom to think how you want to think and have an opinion. But that don't mean you got to down talk, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the next artist. And that's not what Kasanak did. Now, Joe Budden did all that. Kasanak went up on the told him how he got more money than him, man. It got bad. But Killer Mike, the guy that actually won three awards, responded. And he responded like a real, quote, unquote, OG and the... Uh, um, a grown man and it just make you think and just listen to it i don't know who you are positivity you who who decided this motherfucker i want to invite kyle thank you for saying mm -hmm. my name kyle, I know, yeah. yeah i know your guy i know your guy and weird but listen i want to come to the room i want to bring you a bro because atlanta still <laughs> won you feel yeah. me yeah <laughs> however it, however it go young player just know i i, I rock with you too and i'm cheering for all of us you know yeah, what i mean because right, right. i'm gonna just say the young people out there it ain't nothing wrong with expanding it ain't nothing wrong with trying something else it ain't nothing wrong you know with, with just giving you know having you don't have to be always in the crowd so i just want to encourage our listeners out there as a kid i listened to as much rock and roll as i did rap i listened to metallica i listened to led zeppelin you just heard t-pain do a rendition of ozzy osbourne when he was with black sabbath and you have to become culturally rich too. Mm. Like, I know the people that you watch and you like and that stream and you agree with them and they agree with you. That's a good feeling to be a part of that. But bring something else to the club. Be the person to say, let me turn you on to this. If you love Andre 3000, you should know who Portishead is. Well, why? Because Portishead affected Andre 3000 in 95, 96 in a way that radically changed the way he approached music. So you should always want to know what's the source of the source. Teaching. You know what I mean? So, so I'm just saying... Give, give uh, a big bro shot. If you don't rock with it, don't rock with it. But, um, you know, I won. And I'm going to win again. I'm going to win again. <laughs> and I'm going to win again. Now, as y'all see, instead of yelling on the mic, calling the young F the Fs and all that, all he did was respond and said, think outside your mind. Don't, like, pretty much don't just listen to what's popular. Try to be different and give everybody a chance. And he kind of got a point because what I heard, Killer Mike had more of like a rapidy rap type of tape and like i said i'm not really crazy i don't really want to hear a flam flamma jamma rap rap ramma champa mama 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 mean flip it and got my mama swinging i don't want to hear that me personally i like pain songs and songs that people express like what they going through that's my type of music not even drill but like young and age right away them my type of guys you feel me but killer mike said you know he opened to everything and come sit and talk to him and you know you know and listen to his music and then have a different opinion which is a hundred percent respectable now this is why I say this, like this old generation and the young, new generation, bro. It's like they always beefing and the old people are never like really open to new things. And that's from basketball to all that. Like people want to hold on to I'm the best and this is what rap it. This is what, man, art, art is art. No matter how it is, express in different ways. Everybody ain't going to have the same thing. Bro, let the younger generation win. Let them have their opinion. It's okay. And people shouldn't bash Killer Mike because you don't know what real rap is or you don't know what, quote unquote, that type of rap is. You don't have to call them trash. And because a lot of fanboys will hate on him. And it's like, bro, a lot of y'all are not to be racist. Y'all niggas are just like little TikTokers that listen to what they push on, what they push on TikTok, bro. And I ain't saying that ain't real music, bro. But you can't call someone like Killer Mike or Jay Z trash when your favorite rapper is Yeet or Ice Spice and all these TikTok artists or whatever. Which, shout out to them, but y'all get what I'm saying. Now, like I said, it's a respect thing. You don't have to go off from the old heads. People love talking about the old heads. It's a respect thing. And the old heads ain't got to talk down to the younger generation. We all win at the end of the day. Now, give me y'all thoughts and opinions. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And let me know. Do y'all feel like that was a, a respectable? And let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know. Do y'all feel like that was a respectable response from Killer Mike? Do y'all feel like Joe Budden was out of pocket? Do y'all feel like Kyle's out of pocket? Do y'all feel like it's not a big deal? Y'all feel like everybody got their own opinion? I don't know. Let me know what y'all thoughts and opinions is in the comment section. And let me know how y'all feel. It's your boy, Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.